Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of Kuiper Labs. In today's video, we're going to talk about amides. So in the past, we've talked about alkanoic or carboxylic acids. We've talked about amines. We're now going to talk about the compounds that we get when we put those things together, which we call amides. So an am essentially an amide is formed when we take a carboxylic acid and we react it with an amine. Um, we get a, an amide that forms and we spit out a water molecule as we connect those things together. Okay, so the amide functional group looks like this. So this is our amide functional group. Or actually, even if I want to be a bit more specific, let's call that an R group as well. Because this can also work if these are only carbons. Um, so this is the sort of thing that we're looking for. This bit in particular. So a nitrogen directly connected to a carbonyl group is evidence that there is an amide that this compound is an amide. Okay, we have carbon groups of whatever size that can be attached at all of these places where I've indicated an R. So let me just draw you a couple of examples. So here we have two examples of amide structures, okay, based off different kind of combinations. We've got this one over here, where we've got just a methyl group over here, our carbonyl group, and then this nitrogen has two hydrogens attached. Over here, we've got an ethyl group over here, still that same carbonyl group, um, and then we have a nitrogen with two bonds, but in this case, that neither of them is a hydrogen, that both of them are methyl groups. But we're still looking at the same section of the molecule being an indication that this is an amide. Okay, so it's the same functional group. Now, amides, just like amines, can be primary or secondary or tertiary. So here we have the general structure of a primary amide, a secondary amide, and a tertiary amide. So you can see that just like we usually do when we look at distinguishing between these, that it depends on the carbon groups that we have attached, but we're looking at what has what we have on the nitrogen. Okay, so do we only have this one carbon attached to the nitrogen? Do we have two carbons attached to the nitrogen? One of which is the carbonyl group? Or do we have three carbons attached to the nitrogen, including the carbonyl group? Okay, so primary, secondary, and tertiary. We're now going to have a look at how we name amides. In order to really get how this naming works, I firstly want to show you how amides actually form. So what I have here is I have ethanoic acid, also known as acetic acid, and I have ammonia. So what happens is that we take a carboxylic acid and we take an amine and we combine them together. So just like when we're forming an ester, this is a condensation reaction. So we take the OH group that's here and the H that's over here and we are removing them and making a new connection between what is left over. So this comes out as water and then we make the connection between the carbon and the nitrogen there. Now clearly I've got an exaggerated covalent bond but rather than rewrite it all, so this is where that connection happens. All right. And so we end up with the carboxylic acid and amine, we end up with the amide and water. All right, but so if we look at this structure, now I'll just do a quick redraw while I talk. If we look at this structure that we've just formed, we started off with ethanoic acid. So we start with ethanoic acid as our original name. And what we're going to do is that we're going to drop the oic acid part because it's not a carboxylic acid anymore or an alkanoic acid. It's an amide, but it was it did originate from ethanoic acid. So we want to keep that bit because we've got a two carbon group here. And what we do is that in its place, we put amide. So we say that it's ethanamide. Now, what if we had a methyl group over here? What if we had a secondary amide? Okay, well now we can't just kind of say, well that's a big long carbon chain, because you've got this nitrogen in the middle, which, which interrupts it. But when we were looking at with amines in the past, that we could say, right, well we can identify that there is a methyl group attached to the nitrogen of this other thing. And so we could say, alright, well we can put methyl at the front, so it's methyl ethanamide, but specifically that that methyl is attached to the nitrogen. So now it's called N-methyl ethanamide. All right. If we had an additional, another carbon group over here, so we now had a tertiary amide, that then we would say, all right, well now it's a dimethyl 
but both of them are attached to the nitrogen, so it's NN dimethyl ethanamide. Okay, and so that's how we would name this one. Now, let I just want to say, all right, well, let's let's kind of complex make matters more complicated because we can. What about if we have an ethyl group here and a methyl group? All right, let me rewrite this. Okay, so we've still got this part, which was the carboxylic acid. So it's ethanamide. Now what happens is that we've got an, an ethyl group and a methyl group attached to our N. Now, so I'm going to do ethyl first and then methyl second because E comes before M. Now both of these are on the nitrogen, so I'm going to say N-ethyl and then N-methyl, ethanamide. Okay, so I've identified there is both an ethyl group and a methyl group attached to the nitrogen with using N's instead of numbers because that's what we do. Um, and I've put them E before M in our sequence. Okay, so N-ethyl, N-methyl, ethanamide. All right, so we've looked at this idea that amides are compounds that form when we take a carboxylic acid and an amine and we react them together in a condensation reaction to form an amide and spitting out a water molecule. We've looked at how we name them based on the carboxylic acid that we used to, to make it. We use um, ends to show when we've got carbon groups attached to our nitrogen to distinguish between primary, secondary and tertiary amides. And we've kind of explored a few of the extra rules that we need to help us name them more accurately. All right, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye for now.